It is uh, 5.30 a.m. on uh, Friday, December 1st. 5.31 to be exact. I'm just gonna go grab a coffee before a very busy day gets started. Don't really have to worry about traffic at this hour of the day. I just wasted about a half an hour at Starbucks. I, d I didn't mean to do that. I meant to just grab a coffee and go, but then, you know, you start checking your phone, looking at one thing and then another thing. Oh, it's really dark in here, isn't it? I got this email. I got this email that basically, you know, the thing about email, right, or any of this social media stuff is the way that they hook you is they get you checking these things and you get what's called intermediate, intermittent, uh, positive rewards, it makes it like a slot machine or something. So the reason we, we feel addicted to checking stuff is because we don't know when we're gonna get something that's exciting or positive. You know, most of the time you check your email and it's filled with a bunch of stuff that, it's either requests or things that you need to do, it's or junk or whatever, stuff you're not interested in. And then sometimes you check it and there's that one email that's very exciting. Got one of those this morning. I'm also, uh... I'm also gonna try this thing. There's this guy that I follow online. He's a writer named Austin Cleon. Has a great website and blog and writes some really cool books. He put this up. It's a 30 day challenge. I love it because it's not an actual calendar. It just says 30 day challenge. Every day I will, you know, fill in the blank. And then it has these blocks and then it says after, let's see. And after I do, I do whatever the thing I've said is, I'll put a big fat X in the box. And it's kind of, if you've ever heard about that Seinfeld calendar, the, the Jerry Seinfeld calendar where he, he claimed that the way that he wrote so much early on was he just put a big, like a giant calendar on the wall. You know, something probably not unlike one of these except for an entire year. And then he just wrote. His only job every day was just to write and if he did the writing, whether it was good or not, uh, that's not the point, just the doing it. And then he got to put a big X on the calendar. Later I read a, an interview with Seinfeld where he said he doesn't know where that came from and he never actually did that. But shh, Jerry. Let us keep that story, it's a great story. So that's it, the 30 day, whether the, whatever your challenge is, it's just all you have to do is one little thing and then you get to put an X in the box. And, and the idea is that putting that X in the box makes you, you know, once you get a few days in a row, you don't wanna break the chain. That was the thesis of the idea, don't break the chain. Don't break the chain. And if you think about it, it is actually a pretty solid concept, you know, just, Make it small, make it, ma make it manageable, manageable, and then do it, whatever it is, do that thing. I have a, an incredibly busy month coming up. Did I mention it's December 1st? Today is December 1st, the end of the year, and I feel all this pressure. I mean, I do this to myself, it's, it's, it's self-imposed. It sort of was happening before my birthday recently too, just, oh my God, there's all these things I wanna get done that I haven't done yet and I need to do them, and there's a lot of them. There's, there's, there's just a lot of things. There's music, new music I wanna write. There's old music I need to rewrite and charts I need to work on. I don't need two neck straps at the same time. I do need to practice, but I don't want to forsake playing. Practicing, playing, sometimes I get caught up in the practicing part, but playing is really what I need most. I need to just play every day. I don't want to tell you what my 30 day challenge is, but um, I do need to play every day more and have more fun with it. One of the things I hear so often from my students, and I totally understand this, and you know, especially the, the folks who've just come into my virtual studio, um, as I'm reading through everybody's welcome posts in the forum and whatnot, you know, such a strong recurring theme is time, finding time to practice. And I've made the case that it gets easier when you really have an idea what you're working on or what you're excited about, then the finding the time to practice isn't as difficult. It's when it's just sort of amorphous and you know like, oh, I should practice to get better. I need to practice today, but what should I practice? And that's one of the reasons I love the focal point of a, of a solo, of transcribing a solo. It's not just, it's certainly not just for getting vocabulary, but you know, like I was, I'm working on this Coltrane solo that I just got into a couple days ago and it's, it's invigorating. I get excited. It's the last, almost the last thing I did before I went to bed last night and then I'm excited in the morning to wake up and revisit it. Um, what was I? What was I talking about? Right, the solo. This record here, John Coltrane, Coltrane Jazz. The song, My Shining Hour, oh my gosh. So this record is interesting. He has three different rhythm sections on here and it's from probably my favorite time. 
probably my favorite time period of train, um, late 50s. This is 59, I think most of it, almost all of it, 59? Yeah, 59, so it's just after he'd finished Kind of Blue, and most of the album has the rhythm section from Kind of Blue, or the rhythm section from part of Kind of Blue. Jimmy Cobb on drums and Paul Chambers on bass and Wynton Kelly, obviously Bill Evans also on, on Kind of Blue, but boy do I love that trio. Wynton Kelly, Paul Chambers, Jimmy Cobb. Jimmy Cobb, uh, where is this thing? So there's so much life in this. It's so much fun to play. I've just been playing along with this. It's just super swinging and train the way that Train's playing, it's not his sheets of sound stuff. This is bizarre lighting. Want to see a cool lighting trick? Check this out. See the shadows? Shadows on my face right now. Uh, shadows gone. Shadows gone. Oh, shadows. Shadows there. Shadows gone. Shadows gone. It's just a white cardboard box. Movie magic. <laughs> I can't play more because it's YouTube and they will flag the video. Ah. It's so swinging. And the Wynton Kelly, Wynton Kelly solo. There's this one part that, there's this one part that totally reminds me of Aaron Goldberg who I love, piano player who's on my album, my new album, Hindsight, and my older album, Can't Wait for Perfect. I love Aaron's playing so much, and when I was revisiting this track, there's just a moment of Wynton Kelly in here that just reminds me of stuff that, that Aaron plays. It's a, it's a feel, there's a bounce and a swing in his playing. Let's see if I can find it. That. And it that bounce and that swing feel. That that reminds me of Goldberg. Woo! Killing. However, today, as much as I'd like to just sit around and practice. Uh, that I have other things that need to be tended to I need to record uh, so I have this loop pack if you've ever checked out my loops on the loop loft Just look up loop loft Bob Reynolds. I did it I did it years ago, and I need to do a new one, but my audio interface broke my stupid Universal audio. I mean they're not stupid. whatever It's just the audio interface has been acting really weird. There's been like a ghost in the machine So I got I've been saying I was gonna get a new one the new, one sh the new one showed up yesterday. But yeah, 30 day challenge, you know, just something to think about as we enter into the last month of the year here. People always talk about New Year's resolutions. Why not get a jump start on next year right now and you can plow forward into the new year with momentum and, and 30 days of uh, X marks the spot, check boxes crossed out, you know, like the wind at your, the wind at your back kind of that thing. I don't know, maybe, maybe that's a, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> 